Okay, gang. Uh, this is a 69 Camaro, small block, 350, a 3 to 3 stroker. And I had a broken number 6 intake valve spring. So I had to uh, get on the springs. Got a box of Elgin springs and Elgin push rods. I got some spring remover tools here. There's different types. I took out the, I took off the rocker arms, push rods, and the tools that you need for this are, of course, your spring removal tool. Here's a, I'm still on the number six cylinder. I'm gonna show you uh, how we do it. So you need a screwdriver, a uh, little magnet to pick up little pieces, a, a hammer, a small hammer here. You take the hammer and you're gonna sort of hit gently to sort of knock the air keepers and locks a little bit you want to scope the uh, cylinder if you can first after you pull the plugs I got this Pacific tool scope that I use and you're gonna need a small block 5 8 I think it is pull the uh, rocker arms off and then uh, you get to work on the springs but before you do that you pull the plugs right you want to uh, you want to get yourself a uh, a long enough uh, socket extension handle you want to turn the crank by hand so that you can start off at bottom dead center piston at the bottom of the cylinder and then uh, I don't know if you can see it here there's this little uh, tube sticking out of the spark plug hole I use about one meter long of uh, plastic tube very flexible some people use rope it's called the rope trick and uh, when it's bottom dead center you're jamming all in there and then you turn the crank by hand to feel the tension and you can't even pull the holes out a little bit. That way you won't drop your uh, your, your valve. Because if you drop your valve in there, you're, you're screwed, right? So I'm gonna uh, give a couple more turns on this bad boy. And I'll show you how this works. give it a go. So a couple more turns. So those locks pop and the keepers and this magnet is strong as hell. It's not gonna work this time. So your little screwdriver comes in handy. Still no dice there. A couple more turns. There's one. And let's see if I can get this other bad boy out. There we go. Got it out with the magnet. Alright, hold on a sec. Alright, so we're back here. I got the keepers, or the locks, actually. I'm going to put them over here with the uh, number six exhaust so I can keep them all together. And now, oh, I got to put the camera down again. There we go. Here comes the spring. All right, this is the old one. So I'm just loosening it up 
so I can get the tool off the spring. It took quite a bit of tension to get it off. Makes me uh, feel like this spring was still kind of good. But it doesn't matter. I'm going to replace them all. So, there you go, you can see the valves are still up, they're not dropping, because now I have the number six cylinder top dead center with some rubber hose in there to hold it down, hold them up, excuse me, all right, so, uh, I got this little uh, valve seal installation tool just making sure they're down this one right here this one is the number six intake and this is where I had the broken spring and the seal had come a little loose so you can push it back down probably don't need that valve uh, seal installation tool but hell I'm a dude I like tools right so the next thing I got to do is clean it up put some shims on there Oh, look at that. This one didn't have a shim. That's not good. Yay, blueprint. Hmm. for the exhaust. So, there was no shim on number six. Number six intake. Maybe that was part of the problem. <laughs> so, these are the old push rods and the rocker arms. And over here I've got new Elgin push rods and here I've got new Elgin springs and here I've got 16 shims so I gotta pull them all off I like to put a little of uh, some engine assembly lube back on the uh, locks and keepers right so when you put that stuff in there and then uh, put it back and then a little bit on the push rods make sure she's all lubricated so Pull the seals off and then that, that seal installation tool there, you can use that to push everything back down. And then that's it. So the biggest thing is to make sure that you've got something in the cylinder or you can use air, but the rope trick is really, really old. A lot of guys that have been around a long time have been using it, so I figured I'd try it. And it works. You can see them valves are uh, they're not going anywhere, even without a valve seal on there. All right. So that's it, guys.